Number three, balance the following equations. And then they give me this one equation. We have H2 gas plus I2 solid will yield or give me or produce HI solid. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rewrite this because they don't really give me too much room to put those coefficients in there. So I'm just gonna say H2 plus I2 will yield high HI. Um, when you're balancing equations, we could care less about what states these are. They mean absolutely nothing to us. What I like to do when I'm balancing equations is I like to make a little chart. And I like to say that on this side is the reactants. You could call it R or left side. I don't really care. And then this side is your products. The products are the right side. And when I mean left side and right side, it's of this arrow. This is called a yield sign. So these are your starting material. And when you mix these together, you will yield or produce uh, the compound hi, hydroiodic acid. Okay, when we do this chart, what we have to do is we have to list our elements. I like to just start from the reactant side. I like to go from left to right, and I just like to write what elements I have. Specifically here, I have H and I have I. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna replicate this onto the product side. So H comes first and then I. And now we're just gonna say how many we have of each. On the reactant side, on this side, there was two H's. So I have to put a two here. There was two I's, so I have to put a two here. And now I go on my product side. It was just one H and one I, right? So I have one hydrogen and one iodine. Now I can see clearly what needs to be balanced. And it looks like for both of them, they need to be balanced, right? We always like to go up in number. We never like to go down. So I would like to go from a one to two instead of trying to get a two back to one. We always put coefficients in the front. That's what we can do. We can't put subscripts. We can't put like little numbers here. And we do it with multiplication. So one times what will get us two? Oh, one times two, right? Will get us two. So if I do that, I have to put a two in front of here. And you gotta be fair. All of the elements in that compound need to be multiplied by that number. So just like I turned this hydrogen into a two, I have now two iodines, right? And now I take a step back and I look, oh, this is balanced. Oh, this is balanced. So the only thing I had to do here was just put a two in front of here and call it a day. That's it. <laughs> so this one was much easier. Um, but the, the, the rules are still the same, you know, just make that chart, you know, organize yourself and you guys will do great guys. What do you think? If this helped you, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that's awesome. And let me know in the comments how you're doing in your chem class. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard. We love chem and I will see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.